Hey guys, Clorin King here. I am here at a warranty call, and you can see here the H2 sensor has failed. It's shorted out, saying the water temperature is 231 degrees, which just isn't possible. So I'm gonna show you how to replace it in this dandy heat pump. Now keep in mind, this isn't manufacturer specific. These water temp sensors do get beat up 100% of the time that uh, the pool is circulating. So they do fail from time to time. But first things first, we're gonna show you how to take this cabinet off. You got five screws here. You got this one, this one, this one down here, this one over here, and then one over there to fully remove. And then you have to loosen this one here and this one here, and that will get this uh, front cabinet off. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done for you, and then we'll show you the next step. So we have the front cabinet door off. This is the offending sensor that has failed right here. And then this is the electrical box that we're about to get into. So at this point, cut the power off, pull out the disconnect, cut the breaker off, and, it, and shut the pump off. So when we remove this, we don't have water gushing out. So let's get, let's get going. So now that we've got the old sensor out, we're gonna go ahead and replace it with a new one and basically do everything in reverse. So go ahead and put the sensor down. And we'll go ahead and get this clamped in place so it's solid. Just takes an extra minute because we had to loosen it so much in order to get it over the, the field goal post of the sensor. But now that we got that in, all we do is just feed the new sensor up and through and over to the board. And as a quick tip for easy routing, I like to just bend these down so that way these aren't getting bent and not going through the hole. And what I'll go ahead and do is show you a close up of the board along with uh, putting the new uh, sensor in and securing it to the board. All right, so we got a close up of the board here and I'm gonna show you how to plug this in, red or black, it doesn't matter which one goes where. We got the new sensor plugged in, and now we're just gonna go ahead and secure them. Screw it down nice and snug. So nice and snug and they shouldn't be able to pull out. So the new sensor is good uh, connected. What we're gonna go ahead and do is reroute the slack and re-zip tie all this, make it look pretty, and then we will uh, button everything up. So we got everything hooked up, we got everything buttoned up, we put the electrical cover back on. So it's safe now to put power back to it and then also to uh, run water through it. So now when we go to the panel here, it is on, we're gonna Turn the heat on, and we should see a countdown. There we go. So there's no more faults, and uh, this system is back, going to be at, back up and running. We'll let this wait five minutes and make sure it's blowing out nice, cool air out of the uh, fan. So that's how you do it. But we will be back here in a second. All right. So the heat pump is back up and running, shooting out nice, cool air. So it is working properly, and that is how you change an H2O sensor and a Jandy heat pump. So like and subscribe, stay tuned for more videos and see you next video.